Number 1. Kum Shay Soy. The food was very good. But not a patch in other restaurants I have eaten at with Michelin stars. Everything else was frankly a bit of a farce. We almost left as the waiter and the staff got increasingly confused over a dietary requirement they had checked twice in advance. They then told us that they don't really bother to accommodate as some people say they are gluten intolerant and then order pancakes. Number 2. Lucho de Bruxelles. Since 20 years our restaurant have the pleasure to serve you a local cooking in a belgo belgi decoration, our specialty, the mussels, prepared in more than 30 kinds, built our reputation and well outside our borders. Number 3. Lou Wine Bar de Morales. I booked this place for dinner on our wedding anniversary and was so looking forward to the experience given the great reviews. I noticed a number of couples walking into the restaurant asking for tables, but they were turned away, which to me was impressive as most of the customer base seemed to be regulars. Number 4. The Lobster House. On my last trip to Brussels, I ate at the Lobster House, which is close by the famous Grand Place often considered the most beautiful square in Europe. It was an awesome meal with freshly baked bread by Karim, the owner, fish soup and the grilled mixed fish royal, which is a big serving meant for two persons. Number 5. Alexander. I went to the Alexander for a birthday lunch. So I was very surprised to got all the restaurant place dedicated for this event. A small place. Service was perfect for this big group. The food was very tasty, very creative, and artistically dressed. Every dish was a marvelous surprise. Number 6. Bulangari Charlie. So sad we only got to visit here on the final 40 minutes, before we are to depart the female waitress was so genuinely chirpy and happy to serve us. And the bakes of Kuan Amen and Chocks with caramel cream. So heavenly good and my husband, rarely, agreed with me when we are on the Eurostar. Number 7. Pasta Divina. Absolutely the best pasta I've had even in Italy. Patricia is the chef and is a true gem. Silvano takes care of every customer like family. Miriam, their daughter is superb. They are the sweetest Italian family. The waiters Joe and Nikita are so friendly and you feel like you are home. Number 8. Vital Goffer. I went here based on the reviews and was happy with a waffle with chocolate sauce on and my daughter enjoyed hers with banana slices on too. They are quite busy on a busy tourist street with lots of main shops on. Enjoy taking a breather from your shopping for a tasty treat. Number 9. Frederick Blondiel. Worth it, as in worth the calories. We spent a day where we literally skipped lunch and just ate waffles, fries, and chocolate, when in Belgium. Frederick Blondiel was not our favorite, but it offered the most sophisticated of the chocolates we tasted. Number 10. Neuhaus Gallery de L.A. Reine. Our maitre chocolatier is preparing some delicious tablets, mendiants, mousses and other sweets in a traditional way. We are also organized workshop. We are happy to welcome you every day from 11.00 until 18.00. Hope you like this video. For more videos please subscribe to our channel.